Hello everyone, welcome to Mathusiasm. A, B, and C, D are two cos of a circle. They are perpendicular to each other, and they intersect at the points E. The lengths of the four line segments are small letters A, B, C, and D. Express the radius of the circle in terms of A, B, C, D. First of all, we denote the center of the circle by O. For simplicity, we assume that A is smaller than B and C is smaller than D. Later on, you will see that this requirement is not necessary in the answer. Now, to deal with problems of chords, we usually construct perpendicular lines from the center O. Why? Because we have a very useful theorem. Here, we have OM is perpendicular to AB. Then, AM is equal to BM, which is equal to A plus B over 2. This result can be understood easily. If we construct the line segments OA and OB, then they are equal in length. It is because both of them are radii of the circle. Let's call it R. Therefore, triangle OAB is isosceles. As OM is an altitude of the triangle and OA is equal to OB, so it is also a perpendicular bisector of isosceles triangle. Likewise, because OM is perpendicular to CD and triangle OCD is isosceles, therefore CN is equal to DN, which is C plus D over 2. Let's figure out the lengths of EM and EN as well. EM is equal to A plus B over 2 minus A, which is equal to B minus A over 2. And EN is equal to C plus D over 2 minus C, which is equal to D minus C over 2. You see why we have A is smaller than B and C is smaller than D at the beginning, as it ensures that EM and EN are positive. Now, let's focus on the purple quadrilateral OMEN. We have three right angles here. For the fourth one, we can show that it is also 90 degrees easily. The reason is angle sum of polygon. Because there are four right angles, therefore OMEN is a rectangle. This is a crucial step because we have two pairs of equal opposite sides. They are OM is equal to EN, which is D minus C over 2, and ON is equal to EM, which is B minus A over 2. Up to here, it has nothing to do with the radius of the circle yet. What should we do? Let's construct the radii OB and OD. That's nice. We have two blue triangles, and they are right angled. We can apply Pythagoras' theorem. For the first one, a plus B over 2 whole square plus D minus C over 2 whole square is equal to R square. We take out the common denominator 4 and call this equation 1. Well, this one is already expressing R in terms of A, B, C, D. Why do we have to move on? We'll find in a second. Now, we do the same for another triangle. Simplifying a little bit, we call it equation 2. So, what are we going to do? Let's add up the two equations like this. We expand all the four perfect square terms. Now, can you see that the cross terms AB and CD can be cancelled? Then the right hand side is much simpler. It is 2 times the sum of square terms. We divide both sides by 2 to get R square. Taking square root, we get the general formula. R is equal to the square root of A square plus b square plus c square plus d square all over 4. This is called the quadratic mean of a, b, c, d. Now, you can see that the assumptions are not important because the formula is symmetrical about a, b, c, and d. Can you interpret that in a geometrical way? Let me know in the comment section below. But still, there's a hidden condition for the formula to be meaningful which is AB is equal to CD. Do you know why? If you want to see more challenging geometry questions, go check out this video on the screen. I will see you there.